All right, here we go. So it's been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube or filmed a video, but um, I've wanted to post for a long time, but I just haven't really felt connected to any sort of content. And um, something happened recently um, where I just felt like, yes, this is what I should be doing. And I'm not gonna apologize for my hair. It's a snow day here in Iowa and um, I've been playing around with makeup looks and uh, yeah, hair is really not my concern right now, doing the whole tidying up thing. So anyway, I will be turning 40 this July. And something that I've come to recognize in myself that I consider a flaw is that I impulsive shop. Um, not to a point where I'm putting myself in debt or anything of that nature, but enough that it's irresponsible. And it's something that's plagued me for my whole life, basically. Um, you know, just the what's next and what do I, what do I need to have and the material things world. And I don't want to go into the next decade with, um, things, um, being, um, how do I say, like a hobby. Now I love to thrift, um, and I do really enjoy fashion and makeup and all those things that girls like, and I do believe that I'm deserving of those and they have a place in my life. With that being said, I don't think it should be the primary focus or hobby that I go to. So this is, this is not something that I created. I've seen this on other YouTube channels and I've um, been watching Hannah Louise, I think is her name. And so this is, she's inspired me basically to go on a no buy in the year of 2019. Now, I'm not doing this. Um, there are a lot of people that are, you know, they, they're following the same set of rules and guidelines. I'm not gonna do that because I do think that I deserve to have certain things in my life that I don't feel that I need to deprive myself of. Um, so yesterday I did buy a couple of things because I knew, <laughs> knew that this was gonna happen. I bought some containers, I'm organizing the kitchen and I did pick up a the Jacqueline and Hill um, Morphe palette. So I was playing with that today. And I don't really feel guilty about that. I love makeup, but I'm not a big um, proponent of going out and spending a ton of money on makeup. So I I have three palettes, so it's it's not um, it's not something that I'm, you know, it's not my big weakness like thrifting is. So with that being said, I've talked to some friends of mine, some coworkers, and basically this isn't meant to inspire you. If it does, that's fantastic, but it's more for me to hold myself accountable. And so that's my plan is to be able to check in with you or myself and you know just kind of see where I'm at how I'm feeling um, what other things I'm finding to occupy my time and I know that's a big one so I've started going to the gym again um, which is that's huge it was something that I did for a very long time I went to the gym religiously for over three years and then I stopped going and worked out a little bit at home for maybe six months and then that just kind of all went to the wayside and basically my hobby became you know thrifting and shopping after that so now I'm, now that i'm back in the gym i really want to concentrate on that i'm doing this whole decluttering thing to my whole house which my family's really been on board with they're participating as well so in my yard in the in my garden I used to really enjoy doing that and last year I found myself just not spending as much time out there as I wanted to and I don't know if that was because you know summer and things got hectic we were playing a lot of softball but um, I'm, sh I'm sure that some of that time that I could have been spending in my yard was taken up by shopping so with that being said there are some uh, stipulations that I've made for myself. So I will be able to replace anything that's um, used or, or that I have used up or excuse me if it's broken. I also will be allowed to buy myself fresh flowers when I go to the grocery store. I 
like having fresh flowers around. I think they boost my mood. They inspire me in lots of ways with their colors and just when I see them in the kitchen, it's something that's therapeutic to me. So along with that is candles. Um, my husband said that, and, you know, if you say candles, that doesn't mean like go hoard 10 candles at a time, which I completely agree. It'll be one of those, if one candle is, you know, getting near the bottom, then I will replace it. But, but as far as that goes, I consider that something that's a, a pleasure that I don't need to deprive myself of. It's something, um, I, well, hopefully that I'll be spending a lot more time at home now. And so something that I can enjoy while I am here doing, you know, projects that I've neglected or cooking, which is another huge thing on my list this year that I want to occupy my time with. And so far I've been doing really good with that New Year's resolution. And that is something that um, typically I, I have on and off years where my New Year's resolutions, you know, I'm good at them and then I just kind of fail right away. Like last year, I just, I did terrible. Okay, back to my list. Storage containers. Um, I will allow myself to buy storage containers if I cannot find anything in the house that's already suitable for my needs. Um, I, because I currently am decluttering a lot of things, uh, I want to make sure that I have adequate storage for that. Um, summer flowers uh, for my gardening. When I'm gardening, when I'm doing that, I of course want to treat myself to having an, a nice yard, and I think the whole neighborhood benefits from that. And Again, that's something that's cathartic for me, and I don't feel that I need to deprive myself of that. Uh, along with that is paint and spray paint. Those are also very, um, that's a creative outlet of mine. So painting is something that I really enjoy. Again, it just didn't make sense for me to say that I wasn't going to purchase paint this year because I do have pieces of furniture that I still um, would like to work on. I don't know. Some of you know that or if it even matters, but I do like to refinish furniture in my spare time, M mainly in the summer. But I do still have some pieces that um, I need to work on. So, and same goes with the house. I am always painting in the house and that for me is just, it's my me time where I can be creative and it's, it's a form of meditation for me. I also have a large collection of houseplants. I don't plan on purchasing any more houseplants. In fact, I have a few that I maybe like to find new homes for. But I do have a few plants that I really love, but I'm just not enjoying the pots that they are in. And again, with me spending a lot of time at home and working on things this year, Visually, I want to be inspired by all of the things around me. So if it's not inspiring me, it needs to go. And I have several plants where the pots, I, <laughs> I just look at them and I'm like, oh, that's such a beautiful plant, but that pot is just ugh, not my taste anymore. So, I mean, that's less than three or four pots. So I'm not too, too worried about that either. So another thing that I'm going to allow myself to do is self-care and I use that term loosely because I feel like I don't know I feel like it gets totally taken out of context but more self-care as far as um, I'm going to take better care of myself so I am going to visit the chiropractor a lot more often um, I'm really bad about getting massages and in my line of work that's something that is really important for my health and preventative care so um, I've already scheduled my first one and that's something I want to do maybe quarterly or maybe even monthly depending on you know how everything goes um, and then my nails I might also allow myself to do get my nails done I'm not sure yet like if how I feel like that fits in but um, in the event that I feel like you know that's something that I want to treat myself with I will also allow myself to spend money on that and I don't think there's anything else that I'm forgetting. It's possible that there's something that I'm forgetting, but you get the gist of it. Um, and like I said, I do want to check in here and I want to say, gosh, I was somewhere and I was, I was tempted by this, but I didn't do it. And um, again, I'm just sharing this with everybody because I do want to be held accountable. Um, like I said, turning 40 this year, I just, I wanna start this new decade out right. And I wanna have more, um, 
um, you know, just the term that I hear a lot of people using is experiences and that, that too is like, I mean, everything is an experience, but also a more present, um, I want to do more things outside, more hiking, um, and not be, not be focused on the material things. So those are my goals. Oh, the other thing is souvenirs. So I have a couple of trips planned that are coming up and I think that's reasonable for me to, I mean, obviously again, not excessive souvenirs, but if I find a t-shirt or something that I really like, um, and that's the other thing that like, I, I really want to love whatever it is that I'm purchasing and that it, and it feels right. And that's, that kind of goes back to another reason that I'm doing this. I feel like it will spill over into other aspects of my life as well. But, um, you know, using the things that I have now that I had to have or I love, and then it's like you have it and that thrill is over. So I want after this year is over for shopping to be something where when I do buy it, it does feel like a treat and I do appreciate the value of the item much more and you know when I see it, it it does spark that joy that this you know this phase is this Marie Kondo phase that I'm in currently so I just wanted to kind of put that out there um, if you have any questions or comments let me know and we'll see you next time